Welcome to video number 22, Calibrating Pots and the XYZ Motors. In this video, we're going to go over how to use the pots calibration to adjust the current going into the motors and how to set the step rates for the X, Y, and Z motors. There are small pot screws located on the back of each step kick motor, as you can see here in the photos. And what you can do, you can take a small non-conductive flathead screwdriver, or anything that will fit into that screw, and we can rotate it either clockwise or counterclockwise to increase or decrease the current going into the motors. Now real quick, I'm just going to have a, a brief demonstration of me adjusting the current. You're not going to see me clicking the home button to home in the x-axis, but you'll see right here I'm going to kill the current and then readjust it and I'm going to move it back and I'm going to do it again a little bit slower. Now this is just a real brief demonstration of adjusting the current while it's in action. So follow my previous steps on how to find you know the sweet spot that you're looking for. You want it to move smoothly without making any sound. Just like that. Okay so moving on past the pots calibration the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and get the step rate set for the X, Y, and Z. And we've actually already gone in and configured our configuration.h file to set the default axis steps per unit. And you can go back to that video and check the Marlin if you need to see it again. But, you know, we may need to go back in and tweak those a little bit. But before we get started, you're going to see this grease here. I'm going to take the grease and go ahead and lube up the rods because in order to get an accurate calibration the the rods do need to be lubed up so that there's no friction or anything that can bind up the bearings as they're trying to roll so it's always good to keep grease on these at least in the parts where the bearings are going to hit don't rub grease all the way up and down and all the way side to side because there's a lot of area that the bearing actually is never going to touch and then that way you're just wasting grease and also it's probably going to get on you sooner or later. Now the calibration itself is pretty simple. Now what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm taking a sharpie and I'm putting a mark right where my bearings are and you'll probably have to wipe the grease away a little bit like I'm doing. But we're going to take our sharpie and go ahead and mark our starting position. And what you'll see me doing in Pronter Face is I just moved it 100 millimeters away from the home axis and I'm taking my Sharpie and I'm going to go ahead and make another mark. Now I didn't home it, I didn't use the home button, I'm using the inner rings where you can see the 1, the 10, the 100 and I clicked 100 to make it travel 100 millimeters. And once again, as you saw me do, use a Sharpie to mark your beginning location and your ending location and and the grease will make it a little difficult but just do your best to get the marks on there now this is a like I said a simple process all we're gonna do is take our metric tape measure and we're gonna measure the distance to make sure that it actually traveled a hundred millimeters And 
It might be a little tricky to actually see. You might be able to see it pretty good, at least for this part. Sometimes getting the tape measure in there can be a little tricky, but right there, I'm right on 10 centimeters or 100 millimeters. And since Pronter Face has it set at 100 millimeters, and that's what I use to move it, then that means that our step rate is accurate. Now, if you were a little bit under or a little bit over, then what you need to do is you need to go back into the configuration.h file. You need to go to the default axis steps per unit, which we edited, and you need to change the first value of the four, which is set at 80.5. And if you, you didn't quite make it 100 millimeters, so you made it 90, then you need to increase that number, maybe up to 81, 81.5. And if you were over, then you need to decrease that number. Now that number should have got you pretty close. So basically that's what you're going to do. You're going to go in and change that value. Now if it measured out to 100 millimeters, then you're already good to go. So for the rest of this video, you're going to watch me repeat this process on the z-axis, on both sides, and the y-axis. And it's gonna be real simple. Now with the z-axis like I'm doing here, I mark it on both smooth rods and then I raise it up 10 millimeters because there's actually not a hundred millimeter setting for the z-axis. But within Pronter Face, you're gonna communicate these, these distance travels and you're going to measure it to make sure that it's reading correctly. And like I said, it's all under default axis steps per unit. Those four numbers are gonna control this whole process. So that's gonna be the entire calibration process for the X, Y, and Z. But the next video is gonna be dedicated to the extruder, since it's a little bit different situation. So go ahead, before you move on, make sure that all your step rates are set just like you need them for Pronter Face to measure the travel distances accurately.